Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Poetry Slam as part of the ICNA Da'wah Conference. Uh, my name is Kashmir Merim and I am one of your hosts for this evening. Um, just a little bit about myself before we get into talking about the actual Poetry Slam and introducing our poets on uh, the virtual platform, alhamdulillah. So I am also a spoken word poet myself. Um, Previously, I performed in a lot of poetry slams and I enjoy performance, but more importantly, I enjoy listening to um, other poets perform. And so I'm really excited for today, uh, inshallah. And um, yeah, and I'm also an author. I have written two books. One is a collection of poetry and the other is uh, a more recent book called The Muslim Woman's Manifesto. It's kind of like a self-help book, but for Muslim women, uh, I specifically tailored it to talking about spiritual issues that we go through. It's very relevant to da'wah and the kinds of things that we are going through in these times of confusion. Um, and yeah, and so uh, that's pretty much my introduction. And I'm going to pass it over to my co-host, who, who also happens to be my sister. Um, and she's also the founder, and we are the co-founders together of a movement called The Strangers. Um, so I'll pass the book over to you, Aisha, and you can um, introduce yourself and also what The Strangers as a project does. Uh, Jazak, Jazak Lahir, sister. Um, so The Strangers is basically an organization. Um, our aim is to clear up misconceptions, revive the message of Islam, and we through this through um, different means. The main means is through spoken word. Um, we also do other things where, for example, um, you know, uh, writing projects, freedom right projects, um, the Uyghur campaign, etc. If you are interested in finding out more about The Strangers Do, inshallah, all you need to do is go onto our website, which is the strangers, um, the strangers poets dot info. It's very easy. Hopefully you'll be able to get it and um, we will say it again during the session, inshallah. Um, as for myself, I am Aisha and um, my information is on the website as well. And Kashmir Miriam is my sister. I'm really looking forward to this, inshallah. And um, we're going to pass it back on to Kashmir and she's going to go through um, basically uh, the rules and everything. And then the next step, the, the step we've all been waiting for, the poets, inshallah. Yeah, thank you for that, Aisha. So uh, we're going to jump right into the rules, ground rules for the poets and also the judging criteria for us as the judges this time around. Um, because last time, Alhamdulillah, we had a huge lineup and we were very ambitious. We tried to get everyone on, but we went very over time. Um, so this time around, we want to be very strict with our timing and we want to make sure that all our poets have an opportunity to um, come on. And obviously, this is a virtual platform, so we have to... Um, make sure that everything is done in a timely way and we don't have any uh, technical issues, inshallah. So um, we pray that it goes smoothly. Please make the dua for us and also be very supportive throughout all of the poems and, um, you know, as we smoothly move through and transition through all of our performers. Um, so, okay, rules. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. Now, for all of the performers who are lined up and who are listening, the rules they have, they're already very aware of, uh, but for our audience, it's pretty simple. It's just each performer has up to three minutes for their poem. Um, we let them know when to begin. It begins from the first word of their poem and we'll be timing that inshallah. The second rule is that we ask that the content of the poem is relevant to the theme of this conference. So it's a very general theme. You know, they have a lot of artistic freedom to talk about Islam in a time of confusion. You can talk about that way. You can talk about purpose, anything that you think is creatively relevant to the theme. Um, and we will be looking at that when we are, you know, uh, scoring each of our performers, inshallah. Um, and the third one is just a general rule that we just hope that all of our performers understand to be respectful to one another, to, to others who are listening, um, to understand that we may have um, young children uh, also watching who probably should be sleeping by now. Um, but just to keep the content very appropriate, no cursing and, you know, just uh, standard rules of being appropriate. Um, and finally, the judging criteria. So as we all know, every single time judging is probably the hardest thing. And if it were up to me and Aisha, we really wouldn't, we just absolutely try and shy away from the role of, ju of judging. Uh, but this time around, we thought it would be better for us to contribute to the judging panel just because it is a virtual platform and it's hard to have so many people and moving parts. 
Um, and we wanted to offer a fair chance to all of our poets without having necessarily like a ranking order. Um, and we also have opened up the platform. So we have young poets involved too. And that's really important to us because we're trying to have them creatively involved in very, uh, you know, mature and relevant discussions like that one because they offer such a powerful perspective in that. And I think that's important to have them involved. Um, so with that being said, we do ask that, um, you know, in, in terms of the, uh, the, the judging criteria, you know, for this is a, a specific message tailored to the poets. So we ask that number one, that your content is relevant to the theme. That is a, a criteria that we will be looking at when judging. Um, you know, I'm sure that you have a lot of freedom to talk about many things within that. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, inshallah. The second thing we will be looking at is your performance and your delivery. Um, so the difference between slam poetry and written poetry, um, or even, uh, you know, like um, reading poetry is very different to, to the culture of performance. And, you know, the delivery, I think, is something that really enhances your poem and your content. It allows for the words that you're speaking or that you had written to connect with the hearts and the, the minds of the people that you are talking to. Um, so just to bear that in mind and to not have to worry about, you know, who, who's watching you and how many people might be seeing you, uh, but to just focus in like as if you're talking to someone in your room that might help you with your performance um, and just to engage with the words that you're saying. That is something that we'll be looking at, inshallah. And the final category that we will be judging on is the audience engagement. So now this is a message specifically for our listeners out there. If you like what you hear, if you have a line or, you know, a poet says a line that resonates with you, we ask that you share your support and your feedback in the comment section. That is something that we will be looking at. Um, it just shows us how much that poem has connected with you. Um, because, you know, as we know, poetry is very subjective. What might resonate with me might, res uh, you know, might not resonate with someone else, but a particular line might strike you in a way that it doesn't strike someone else. So, we do ask that you show your love, you show your support, and again, you'd be respectful in the comment section. And um, that's pretty much it. So we have the grand rule sorted. We have our judging criteria. Um, and just to let our performers know that if they do go over three minutes, you have a grace period of 10 seconds. So after that, we will have to, unfortunately, deduct points. Um, but I'm sure that from, you know, reviewing all of your content upon your, you know, submissions that you just, uh, that all of them should be within that time frame. Um, so without any further ado, we will be introducing. Can I, add, yeah. can I add one, yep. one couple of small things? So, um, as for the three minute grace period, um, now with the, I know that the performers, they might get a little bit nervous, um, but don't worry about it. Just do the best that you can do. If you go over, you go over God willing, you know, that should be fine. Um, and we will definitely, um, don't it's not it's not the end of the world don't get nervous i can i can already feel the anxiety rising right now don't worry about it uh, that's to our performers now to our audience um now your role as the audience is crucial meaning that whatever you know you wh whatever comments that you make whatever likes that you give to the performers um that's going to be heavily taken into account because as we said we don't have any external judges um from my sister and i so um you are also the judges so please 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 take that very seriously as well and um no further ado kashmir do you want to introduce the first poet yes so inshallah we will be bringing on our first performer um she has also been in um a few of our previous poetry slams so we're re-welcoming her on she's a very 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 powerful poet she talks about very deep um, content and you know recently we had like a project that we were working on for the strangers called the freedom writers project and she contributed heavily to this and talked about everything that was going on around you know the whole black lives matter movement and uh, i just remember hearing her content was very heavy and um, so i'm pretty sure that you'll be in for a treat when listening to her poem this evening inshallah so i would like to bring on our first poet for the evening her name is sister naima baptiste Hey, assalamu alaikum everyone. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah How are you, Naima? Good, a little nervous, but good, alhamdulillah. Don't be nervous. Um, alhamdulillah, from what we've heard before, you, you're you going to wing it. It's 
we're not wing it sorry that's the wrong word you're gonna do amazing <laughs> you see i'm nervous too i'm not even saying the words right but you're gonna do amazing inshallah inshallah okay yeah, whenever so you're ready Naima. Uh, Naimo, just before you go into your performance, tell us a little bit about yourself, anything that you would like the audience to know about your writing, about how long you've been uh, performing, anything that you'd like to share with us. Um, I teach middle school, English and social studies. And um, I mean, we're trying something new this year with online and if my students are out there, hey guys. Um, <laughs> and I think that's it pretty much. I mean, I love writing. Um, and thank you guys for giving us this platform to open yourselves up. Um, it's an honor okay, for you to be it. on this platform. Alhamdulillah, the platforms are because of you. Jazakallah hai. So whenever you're ready, Naima. Okay, so the title of this poem is Ar Rahman, The Solution. Qadr, our destiny written before our creation, and yet we still deny ourselves Rahmah his mercy. We watch as the sea rises and the glaciers melt, hurricanes wash away whole cities, and we wonder. But we know this story, we know our story. His son stood at the top of the mountains, claiming to be safe from the madness of the world as the rain rushed out of the sky. Prophet Nuh knew Allah would destroy those who went astray, and that this world this world, as we knew it, would be a test. Is our world any different? Is this not our test? His son was lost to the waves, gone astray, and he turned to Allah. Have we turned to Allah? And yet we still deny ourselves Rahma, his mercy. Our world burns before our eyes, Australian bushfires and California forest fires, ravaged homes, businesses, and national forest reserves, ashes. But we know this story. The people of Lut were destroyed for their display of blatant disbelief, yet we fly rainbow flags in our speech to assimilate knowing the repercussions of disobedience. Allah commanded the angels to pick up Lut city and literally turn it on itself to the lowest point on earth. And yet we still deny ourselves his mercy we disservice ourselves and deny his mercy, but we know the solution. Which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? A Talba, a Jawad, a Bahab? Allah tells us in the Quran time after time, and yet we deny, deny, deny. Allah has blessed us with his mercy, Ar Rahim, his love, Al Wadud, his forgiveness, Al Ghufur, and yet. We are ungrateful to our creator, al Khalak. Our old children of Adam so easily forget, we forget. Forget our bulging bellies and full freezers, lives of luxury, pantries packed, our children, our homes, our beauty, our youth, our health, our friends, our family, oh Allah. We have earned your wrath, locked in quarantine. This is a test. Allah has ordained us to stay at home, testing us with what we love best. There is a calmness and a slowing of time forcing us to look within to build our Amen. With every hardship, there is an ease and the blessing of time has now been decreed. Once a fast paced life stood in all of our paths, Allah has given us a second chance to reconnect. There is a time to talk, a time to read, time to fulfill all your Islamic needs. Allah has given us his mercy, Ar Rahim. This test can be an opportunity. In this lesson, we are reminded of his power over everything. Al -mut al -mut that, he, that he is the first and last. Al -awal. Al -awal al -akhir. And he is the grant grantor of security. Al Allah slowed us down for a reason, the purpose unknown. But recognizing with our, but reconnecting with our Creator, and Kalak is needed, and an undeniable truth. Which of the favors of your Lord will you deny? We have sinned, our ungrateful behavior so obvious and bold, and our denial. We know the solution. Al Hadi, please forgive us. Amin.
Hashmi is still muted. He's still muted. Okay, sorry, I was muted, Sister Naim. I said Allahumma Amin at the end of your poem. Um, but thank you so much. You, um, I can see that throughout your poem, you had this beautiful um, uh, repetition of the names of Allah. And what what is your favorite name of Allah? Oof. I think Wadud, Al Wadud, to be honest with you. And why does that resonate with you? For anyone who does not maybe know or understand what that means, Al Wadud. Because I feel like Allah is just so loving. Yeah, uh, you know, I actually mentioned Al Wadud in one of my poems because that name it it resonates i think above all like when you think about the trials and tribulations that you talk about in your poem and that you reference you know according to the stories that we know the prophets and their nations al wadud gives you hope mm -hmm. you know and i think that you encapsulated that so beautifully in your words so jazakallah khair it's always a pleasure hearing uh, from you and if anyone would like to follow you or read more of your work do you have a website or a blog or social media i'm on instagram <laughs> and it's okay. Naima N A I M A H B at I guess Instagram or Gmail dot com. But we can tag you. We can tag you, inshallah. <laughs> no problem. Um, okay, so I think Hashim and Miriam said everything. Um, I remember reading a poem earlier on, and I had a few questions, but I think I'm going to ask you them. I'll ask you them after, inshallah. I don't want to take up too much time. But um, a beautiful, amazing poem. You did not disappoint as usual, alhamdulillah. And um, you are still the heart of uh, the freedom writers as well. Just after hair for everything. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank okay. you. Actually, going to be wrapping things up, inshallah. And, uh, the content and the relevance of all of the poems and just the diversity that we have in today's um, performance set. So, just after to everyone from the bottom of our heart as the strangers, as your sisters in Islam and as your fellow poets, we know it's not easy coming on this platform and to share your work that's so personal to you. But um, we hope that our audience also enjoyed it. We'd like to thank everyone. We'd also like to thank ICNA for hosting us on this platform um, and for making this opportunity available to our youth, to our to our whole ummah. And um, we pray that above all, everyone benefited from it, inshallah. And uh, Jazakallah khair. Aisha, would you like to add any? to that um yes subhanallah you know i did not expect um the schools to be so close together and it's very important to say it was literally by a decimal point and um subhanallah like it's you were every single one of our poets um your contribution it, you know this whole kind of uh, label of winner here winner there um my sister and i we do personally dislike it but the whole kind of uh, feel of competition, it just has to, unfortunately, just requires that, you know. Um, but you all are winners. And I'm not just saying that to sound cliched, but it truly is um, important that you know that, that your your work and your words have made a difference to someone who is listening out there. And we truly appreciate, especially I'm calling all the way from India, some of you, other people I know that you had um, other engagements as well, but you made the effort to come here, be here, share your message. And it was a beautiful message. Jazakallah uh, so much. And uh, we really hope we can work with you in the future, inshallah, future projects. And um, stay well and stay blessed. Uh, I mean. I mean, okay. And with that, we will close today's session, inshallah. Uh, if you guys would like to check out more of our work, again, we will um, post more information on our website. And also, you can check us out on our Instagram, The Strangers and um yeah and alhamdulillah today we finished on time so uh jazakallah again for watching to all of our performers for ikna for hosting and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh